Hey everyone, it's Naomi, your desert sailor, with my very, very messy hat head. Yuck! Anyway, I wanted to give you a little bit of a hint of how I go up in a bosun's chair. I'm often asked to go up people's masts because I'm small and I am not afraid of heights and it's easy to get me up. So I have um, worked with a friend of mine and we, we kind of have it down now and so I want to show you some of the things that I recommend that make the job a little bit more comfortable and easier. So I really like this kind of bosun's chair because it has a solid bottom and it's more like actually sitting in a real chair. Some of them have um, a soft bottom, but then you get like this squeezing from here and the tension around your hips. And if you're up there for a while, it's really uncomfortable. This you can kind of shift around. It also have like has like a backrest on the back. So if you really had to lean out, you feel much more secure because there's also this that clips you in and um, this that goes between your legs so if you slide forward it's actually going to catch you so this is this is uh, my my recommended design for sure um, I like this chair too because it has all these extra things that you can bring up or attach to if uh, you were bringing up power tools I highly recommend um, tying a tether from your power power tool and tying it to the ring and then I definitely always wear some kind of sturdy hiking boot. I want to be as comfortable as I can um, and not injure myself as I go up and I sort of do this grabby thing um, sometimes where I'm pushing on the shrouds or a stay. And then I also highly recommend, and I usually wear gloves all the time, especially these kind that have like the rubber because I do, um, I do grab onto the shrouds as I crawl up. And uh, I don't really work with um, sunglasses because it's hard for me to see, but I definitely <laughs> have to wear my prescription glasses. And I'm going to definitely wear a peaked cap because it is pretty sunny. I have my lip balm and my sunscreen. Definitely, because you don't know how long you're gonna be up there, you wanna bring some water for sure. I do bring my phone or a camera so I can take pictures for the client that I'm working with. And if you're gonna bring your phone up to take pictures um, to show the work that you did, then definitely have it on a tether too, and maybe even in a floaty. So if it falls in the water, then you at least can get it. You need uh, obviously to bring all your equipment, your checklist of stuff to make your job go easily. So today I really only need um, my basics here. So one of the main things is that uh, you want to make sure that you have a main halyard pulling you up, or like a, we call it the principal, and then a secondary. So that's two people, one on each winch. For us, it's usually a three-person job. Ready, Mike? Yeah, I'm ready. I make sure that the actual line is tied through both of these holes and then secured as a bowline knot and then the shackle if there is one on the halyard so all the weight is not pulling on the shackle because who knows if you can have confidence in those shackles um, so all the weight is on the line and then probably the final thing is if you are having to steal away one of or at least your safety line which we're going to have to do on this job so um, I am wearing my harness and um, my tether so that I can attach myself to the mast up there. That's what I do just in case, because right now my safety halyard line is now loose because they needed the winch to tighten. The other halyard that's now going to be acting as the forestay while we actually get rid of this forestay to be able to install the new force day. So that's how I get up the bosun's chair safely and uh, good luck with your job.